This is a Volkswagen T-Roc. In length, it's slightly smaller than a Hyundai Creta. In height, it's pretty much at par at some of the sub 4 meter compact SUVs that we have in our market. And yet, this car costs 20 lakh rupees. It also has a really interesting story about it because of which this car is already sold out in our country. So why am I here talking to you about it? Well, simply put, this is perhaps one of the best Volkswagens to ever make it on our roads. But that's what it looks like on paper at least. So I decided to find out if that's really true by spending some time with it. And here's what I have to tell you about the Volkswagen T-Roc. The interesting story is that Volkswagen brought this car to India as a CVU and makes use of the government's new relaxed import regulations. As part of this, a company can bring in 2,500 units of any vehicle to the country without the need for having it homologated, which means a straight-up import of the car, which in turn means a lower price tag. Now, yes, 20 lakh rupees isn't low by any margin, but if the T-Roc was homologated, then this price would have been way higher. Now, having said that, only 1,000 units of the T-Roc were allotted to India and all of them got sold out in about 40 days or so, making it the fastest selling VW in our country. So what makes it special? Well, let's start with the design. This car, like we said, is quite compact, but what adds to the appeal is that the car is wide. And being not so tall and long, the T-Roc has great proportions and a confident stance. I especially liked the LED daytime running lights, which double up as turn indicators. Other than that, you get a blacked out roof, body cladding all around the car, and the car's name spelt out on the middle of the bootlet, and thankfully, this does not look tacky. I'm looking at you, MG Gloucester. It also gets 17-inch alloy wheels, which fills up the wheel arches really well. In short, the T-Roc looks really smart, and the design grows on you the more you look at it and the smartness carries on to the inside as well. Now, once you step inside the Volkswagen T-Roc, the first thing that is evident is just how big the car feels inside the cabin. So despite it having smaller proportions relatively on the outside, it excels in giving you that big car feel from here inside the cabin. A big reason for that is the fact that this car is really wide. As a result, you have a big dash in front of you. And when you add to the fact that you have brilliant visibility, well, the cabin feel goes to a different level altogether. Now, coming to the cabin design itself, well, it is all very businessy, all really typical Volkswagen design language that we can see over here. However, in the T-Roc, they have made use of several different shades of, well, gray, but it still manages to make it look funky, modern, and the highlight of the cabin is, of course, this big 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system. Now, this one comes with touch-based controls all around. The touch response is really nice. The touchscreen feels really smooth to use. And it also supports Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So it gets full marks in that department. Other than that, you also get a fully digital instrument cluster that is really crisp to look at, great colors on it, and has fantastic visibility. All in all, the T-Roc not only gives you the feeling of a big car, but it also feels properly premium in here at the driver's seat. It is also very high on practicality with ample storage spaces all across the cabin. Now, once you sit here at the back of the Volkswagen T-Roc, well, the story is a little bit different. Gone is the big SUV feel because in terms of the sheer amount of space that you get, well, let's just say it's decent at best and you can get a lot more spacious cabins in this price bracket. However, the feeling of airiness is still a plenty because you have these large glass panels and a big panoramic sunroof up top. However, when it comes to being seated here, I would recommend not more than two people because the third person who would be seated here, the scooped out seat with the big transmission tunnel would make them feel squeezed. But if you have two people over here, you can make use of this generously sized armrest, which comes with these things that lets you adjust cup holders. I mean, how good of an attention to detail is that? But once you're seated here, you get a really comfortable seating position. This is one of the most comfortable seats I've sat in in this segment. So long rides in the Volkswagen T-Roc, for two people at least, well, won't be a problem. And speaking of long rides, the T-Roc has a good amount of boot space as well. And it has a massive 59-litre fuel tank, which will give you over 700 kilometers of range when full. 
But now let's come to the best part about the T-Roc which is the way it drives. This is powered by a new 1.5 litre petrol engine that is turbocharged and makes 150 PS of power and 250 Nm of torque. Which may not seem like a lot, maybe, but when you consider the size of the T-Roc, this is more than plenty. The engine is extremely refined and has a good spread of power down low in the RPM band which eliminates the dreadful feeling of having turbo lag. Hit the mid-range and you'll be served with oodles of performance and the engine is happy to rev all the way to massive 6,500 RPM. Interestingly, the engine also has cylinder deactivation system which shuts down two of the four cylinders when you are cruising around to save you fuel and the cylinders get back on in an instant when you need them too. And since this engine is so refined, you wouldn't even realize when this entire process happens. Also, Volkswagen has given it the 7-speed DSG gearbox which is the gold standard of dual clutch gearboxes and it impresses in the T-Roc as well with smooth and precise gear shifts. Also, since the T-Roc is well properly European, the suspension is actually meant for European roads too. As a result, it's not very calm and composed over potholes of our not-so-friendly Indian roads. But once you start driving it a bit faster, you will thoroughly enjoy driving this car. A well-balanced chassis, a direct feeling steering and absolutely fantastic brakes make the car such a hoot to drive. This is definitely for the drivers and not for the chauffeur driven. So to sum it all up, having driven it for over 300 kilometers in a variety of different driving conditions, I can say that the T-Roc is a special car and a big reason for that is that you get the exact same car in this exact same form as if you were to buy it in Europe. Now that adds a particular flavor to the car that you do not get to see in other cars in the segment. Now, at this point, I would have asked you to go out and take a drive in the car and check it out. But as of now, as the time of recording this video, the booking of the T-Roc is closed. I'm fairly confident that Volkswagen will open it up again. And if you're in the market looking for a car that helps you stand out, the T-Roc is a highly recommended option.